Thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Patty Madera. I'm just very excited to share my story. I think, you know, we've all done such great things with, with supporting the community and I'm just excited to be able to discuss that. And so one, oppor one opportunity that I was given uh, during, you know, this, quar this quarantine and this pandemic was I had the opportunity to be deployed uh, to Northern California to support with some wildfires. Um, and so I was actually able to go with the Latino engagement team, um, also known as LET. Uh, and the focus of LET is to support um, the Spanish speaking community uh, during times of need, just being able to, um, you know, be a middle, middle ground for them and support and being able to translate as well. And so it was a great opportunity that I was given. Uh, and so I was just very grateful to be able to use my Spanish in such an effective way. And with that opportunity, um, I was able to su um, support um, local farm workers in Northern California that were affected uh, by the wildfires. And so I probably visited about 10 to 15 farms and being able to offer them so many of our services. And while I was out in the community meeting with these local farm workers and supporting them, one of the major effects that really did get to me was the fact that they let me know that there was a farm that no one had been able to get access to and enter and to offer supplies and offer the Red Cross services uh, was this local strawberry farm. These farm workers hadn't received any resources for the past three weeks. And so uh, that was the moment that I just knew that we needed to do something as the American Red Cross, we needed to find, find these farm workers and offer them any support we could. And so luckily, you know, with all the efforts we, we did, we were able to find a local organization um, that worked with this, these farm workers in general, and they were really supportive in our efforts and wanting to get to them. And so we worked together and we collaborated. Uh, we were finally able to get access to them. And so we entered the farm and we were able to bring some supplies to them, food, water. And not only that, but we were able to talk to them about the resources that the American Red Cross had to offer them. And you know, we let them know that we're there to help everybody and anybody, and especially in times of need. And many of them you know, were born in other countries. And so the Red Cross is different everywhere. And so it was, it gave me the opportunity to really talk to them about the services that we had to offer. And it was the first time that they realized that the Red Cross was there to help them in that way. And it was truly heartbreaking that they didn't know that we were there to help them. And so they were shocked about all the services that we had to offer, even starting from shelters. They didn't know that they can go to our shelter or they didn't even know we opened shelters. So it was just a liberating experience to offer them this information and for them to be so excited and happy that the Red Cross was actually there to support them in that moment. And it just, it was just an amazing feeling just to be able to support them. And again, being able to use my Spanish and just being able to support this small community that hadn't received any resources. And the fact that we were able to step in and actually offer them support, it was the best feeling that I could have ever had. And especially with, with COVID and everything, they just, if they just felt like a sense of relief once I told them that we were there, we were gonna support them and offer them any help we could in any way. And so overall, it was an amazing experience. And it was just great to know that if anything else were to happen to this community, any natural disaster, they knew that the American Red Cross was gonna be there to help them. And that they didn't have to be afraid of us, that we were just there to support them. And it was just, like I said, an incredible experience. And they were so grateful to hear about that. They were, they were astonished that the Red Cross was actually there to help them, that no matter who they were, what race, nothing, nothing mattered, that we just helped all human beings. They just couldn't believe it. And so it was just so heartwarming to see that. And it was just a great experience. And again, this is why I'm so happy to be part of the American Red Cross and to have this opportunity to be around those farm workers and um, being able to offer them any service. And again, being able to use Spanish as a resource was amazing. So that was a, an experience I had 
uh, during this pandemic that I will always carry with me and I will always have those farm workers. They will always have a special place in my heart. <laughs>